everyone, thank you for joining us on this special report of weather on this edition of Rizzo TV. Uh, hashtag Rizzo TV HG News. This is going to be exclusive Rizzo TV weather episode for this Monday, July 24, 2017. I am John Rizzo reporting from Dyke Heights, Brooklyn. So right now we're looking at a temperature of 68 degrees, relative humidity sitting at 78%. The winds are north-northeast at 4 miles per hour. Look at that rain total. We had about an inch, over an inch of rain in the matter of about two to two and a half hours um, early this morning. So that's an impressive amount of rain in such a short, relatively short period of time. We actually had a little bit over three tenths of rain, uh, 0.37 inches to be exact yesterday, 1.13 inches for today. So the dew point sitting at 61, 60, 61, it's kind of like going back and forth. So it's a, it's pretty comfortable. You don't really feel the humidity, even though humidity is at 78%. And we're going to be explaining why today is not as humid as the heat waves as far as the dew point and the humidity uh, versus each other is concerned. Feels like, uh, I already put that there, also put that there just to give you an idea of, you know, the current, the complete picture of the current conditions outside. So same thing as the actual temperature because we don't have any heat index today really. So that's why it feels like it's actually matching the actual temperature. Now barometric pressure is steadily falling. So I'm going to explain what this means. The, the barometric pressure has been kind of steady and falling. So steady, staying constant, falling, dropping just a little bit. So it's, it's going back and forth. So that's why I call it steadily falling. Um, so it's 29.85 inches of mercury steadily falling. And it's still light rain. It's not raining as hard as it was earlier today, uh, as it was uh, earlier this morning. Um, but I still have your light rain because we're going to have these lingering showers on and off, light rain showers throughout the day as these uh, this system moves out of the tri-state area. So that's why I have here light rain to lingering showers, basically still what's happening right now. Um, so let's get into your further weather information. So as far as your almanac is concerned, we had a sunrise this morning. Uh, 5.45 a.m. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit later, closer to 6 a.m. since we switched to daylight savings time um, and a sunset of 8.18 p.m. So we're rising later, it's close to 6 a.m., and we're setting uh, earlier. So relatively 20 to 30 minutes earlier since we started summer. And this is because we have an earlier sunset as we approach full within the next four to six weeks. So we have about a month and a half or so. Um, the rest of July, last week of July, then we have... Uh, four weeks of August plus about two to three weeks in um, September until we actually start fall on the 21st, 22nd, uh, depending on when the fall uh, autumn solstice actually happens. Um, I'm sorry, autumn equinox, excuse me. Um, so that's why since we're, we're almost, we're like about halfway through the summer, more or less, maybe a little bit more than halfway, and that's why we're having an earlier sunset as we approach fall within the next four to six weeks or so. The high today was reached actually before you guys probably woke up this morning at 75 degrees after midnight. Now the low today was about 66 degrees and that was about earlier this morning between the morning commute between 5 and 7 a.m. Now the record high that was set back seven years ago back in 2010 was at 99 degrees. Now we're going to be nowhere near, near that obviously because we're out of this heat wave officially and we're having a lot of cooler temperatures so that's why we're out of this heat wave. Record low set back in 1947 at 55 degrees. So we're definitely not going to break the record high temperature today. Although we would have been close to breaking this record had this record here fell during the heat wave. So we would have been very, actually would have probably met that record um, with for two days. And you're going to see that in my chart in just a second. Um, but of course, since we're actually, this was planned, I'm sorry, this was, uh, this happened on this date back in 2010. Um, due to the date, you know, differences in records, uh, 99 was set back in 2010. Um, so we didn't actually break, and because of this, we actually didn't break any records uh, during this four-day heat wave that we had last week. Um, we're going to be, the, the record low is actually way below that we're going to be experiencing for our forecast for tonight, so that's why I have way below the record low. So this is what I was talking about, all right? So this is what we have. We have... We had four official days of extensive high temperatures during this heat wave between July 19th and July 22nd. So what exactly is a heat wave? A lot of people don't really understand or get confused as to what a heat wave is. So I have an actual exact definition here. A heat wave is defined as three days or more of 90 degrees and more. So that's why I have 90 plus. Extensive humid conditions can typically happen during this type of weather pattern with high humidity levels and or high dew points. So that's going to be explained more in the next slide. Um, but the highest temperatures during this 40 heat wave were on July 19th at 99, 
and July 21st, same temperature of 99. So the 19th and the 21st were the hottest days as far as temperature goes uh, for this heat wave. The real field temperatures were between 100 and 105 due to the heat and humidity uh, conditions. Um, but in terms of this slide, we actually had really hot temperatures, and that was the first element of making this heat index and refill, aka real field temperature, between 100 and 105. Um, especially on the 19th and the 21st of July because we had almost 100 degrees and that's why it really felt um, so probably the two the, the, the hottest days of the heat wave of the 19th and the 21st because we had the highest temperatures and very high humidity levels as well. So we're going to be getting into your dew point categories. So this is what we're talking about as far as dew points go. Greater than 55 is pleasant. Now, you don't really he feel the humidity at all. You feel the humidity just a tad when you get between 56 and 60 for the dew points. Pretty comfortable. It's actually, the dew point's sitting exactly at 60 degrees. At the top of this category here, 56 to 60 is, pr is very comfortable, so you pretty much don't feel it at all. Once you start beginning between 61 and 65, that's when it starts to really start to feel sticky, um, when it's accompanied by about 80, 75, 80 degree temperatures, or a little bit under, a little above 80, like maybe 80, 75 to 85, you start feeling that humidity and you start sweating a little bit more easier. 66 to 70 is really starts like you really can't stay out for more than an hour or so and you really start sweating much easily uh, between 66 and 70. Now 71 to 75 you can really can't stay out at all. Once you get between impressive, when you get to oppressive, uh, you really need to minimi minimize your outdoor exposure because these, th these two categories are often accompanied by 90 plus temperatures like we had during the heat wave. Um, so 71 and 75, uh, it's really oppressively hot. So you have to make sure that you give yourself time about two hours at least uh, to cool down in the air conditioning with some nice cold water and to make sure you stay cool and so that you don't um, have any run the risk of heat stroke or anything like that. We actually even hit the miserable category um, for some days during this heat wave, which is greater than 76 degrees on the dew point level. So oppressive and miserable, the miserable being the worst category of the dew point, um, those are the most dangerous and uncomfortable conditions, um, especially for miserable. Miserable is the highest level of a dew point that you could actually have. And the oppressive and miserable are usually accompanied by 90 plus temperatures. So during the heat wave, we actually had 71, 75, and 76. Um, so the, for, for, we actually had one day, one or two days that were greater than 76. But for the most part, we had between 71 and 75 during the heat wave dew point levels. Uh, they, we were actually oppressively hot. But now, look at the difference. We're sitting at between 56 and 60, so we, ba we barely even feel the humidity. I actually have the air conditioning on right now in my bedroom studio here for Rizzo TV, only because we have the video lights on. That's what a lot of people do when they have their central air on uh, for the TV studios, for the news people. Um, but today, you don't really need the air conditioning. Just minimize the amount of time you have the windows open, especially if, if people have breathing problems. Even though it's pretty comfortable, if you have that, it's, it's a little bit humid outside. So comfortable can be considered slightly a tad humid. Um, starting to feel sticky, that's when it actually starts to feel humid. But right now, we're a tad humid. If that humid air keeps coming in, even though it's pretty cool, at, right now we're at 68, 69, uh, we're flirting with 70 degrees uh, on and off. Um, officially at 68 in uh, Diker Heights, Brooklyn. Um, but we're actually 56 to 60. If you leave the windows open for a long time, uh, people with breathing issues, COPD, asthma, especially the elderly who have any breathing issues, uh, anyone actually all overall who has any breathing issues, um, if you leave the windows open for a long time, you're going to start feeling that dew, and you really start feeling that more, like with, through your air conditioner, if you have a window unit, uh, or if you keep the windows open. So um, if you feel stuffy and if it feels a little bit humid, AC will definitely will help with that, reduces air moisture, and it cleans and purifies the air. Um, so you definitely do need the air conditioning in the summer, of course, but today you don't really need it that much because it's not that humid outside. We had a little bit of rain. It's pretty cool outside. 56 to 60, comfortable, deep point category for today. So really, uh, really just, you know, it kind of sucks that, uh, you know, it's raining. You can't really do anything outside. It's not that pleasant, um, but at least it's not as hot as we saw yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, as we saw during the heat wave, 71 to 75. So look, a really dramatic improvement as far as the dew point humid, humid conditions are concerned for today. 56 to 60, tad humid, but still tolerable. Comfortable dew point for today. 
Now, this is what I was alluding to earlier. These are what we're going to be called, we're going to be talking about our dew point and humidity levels for during this heat wave. All right. So this is what's, what's, what's happening right here. We had high levels of humidity and high dew point readings uh, during this heat wave. Now, uh, this is what made it feel extremely oppressive outside because we had dew point readings between uh, 65, 70 plus, okay? Uh, 70 to 75. And even look, look at July 20th, 77. This was literally like oppressive. Uh, extremely uncomfortable, 75, 73, uncomfortable. So uh, the real field temperatures, not only because we had those hot conditions, hot temperatures, uh, close to 100 degrees, which made the real fill, aka heat index, uh, vice versa, 100 to 105, and also it's also due because the heat index and the real fill actually takes into account uh, the high humidity and dew point, high dew point temperatures in the atmosphere. So look at this. Look at July 20th. So July 20th is considered to be the most humid day, and I'll explain why. Because we had the highest dew point, uh, the highest humidity was at 86 percent. The dew point was a little bit lower. Of course. All four days were considered extremely humid, but because we had the highest dew point reading observed on July 20th, 2017, this July 20th, 2017 is being considered the hottest, the hot, not really the hottest, but the most humid of, of the uh, heat wave. So because, again, so because we had the highest dew point on July 20th, which is at 77, which is a pr considered a pre in the oppressive category, we had, it was considered the most humid. Because sometimes, the reason I say this, and it's not really written here, but I'm going to explain this to you as a side note, uh, the humidity and the dew point readings don't exactly match up. It could be a lower humidity between 50 and 60, and the dew point could be like uh, 70, you know. It could be... Uh, humidity levels 80 to 90 and the dew point could be like 65 70 it could go either way so that's why we basically the dew point measures the difference between the wet dry, wet bulb and the dry bulb so it compares the amount of moisture as far as the temperature goes in the atmosphere um and that's what you really feel the dew point basically the humidity is basically a percentage of the atmosphere so it's kind of like a probability type of estimate but the dew point is actually more accurate because we're doing an actual calculation um, in terms of how we how it is how humid it actually is outside so that's why I have here typically the dew point is a better idea of how humid it is outside and July 20th was the hottest um, uh, excuse me was the most humid because we had a very the, the highest uh, dew point reading of 77 degrees And so because we had the highest level of dew point, we had the highest dew point reading on July 20th, and because the dew point is the most uh, for sure way to measure how humid it is outside, that's why we're considering July 20th to be the most humid day of this heat wave because we had the highest dew point reading. Oops, excuse me, just bear with me. Apologize for technical difficulties. why we're not advancing. Bear with me just a moment. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So for today, um, we're still, um, we're going to be observing the peak hours of warmth, even though we're not having any direct sunlight that typically happens between 2 and 4 p.m. So that's why we're forecasted just to play it safe, a high of 76 degrees today, scattered showers, lingering rain and humid, but it's much cooler. So that's why I have like this little raining and humid icon over here. Uh, so for 76 degrees is expected for your high today between 2 o'clock and 4 p.m. today. Um, so that's, uh, we're not, we might not actually even reach 76 because we are flirting with 70 degrees as we speak between 68 and 70, uh, over the last couple of hours or so. Um, so it may be very possible when I even get up to 76, but that's just giving you that disclaimer. We could be between most likely 70 to 73 because it's the temperature trend today has been relatively cool. 
So we're forecasting uh, 76, mostly, uh, more likely 70 to 73 because of the clouds and because we have this cool air mass uh, in the tri-state area. Scattered showers, lingering rain, and humid, but much cooler today. Uh, 76, but more likely 70 to 73 uh, in, your, uh, in the tri-state area. Tonight, we're looking at uh, showers still lingering around. We're going to be a little bit more cooler. Look at that. Of course, we're going to be in the evening hours. But pretty much about almost a 10 degree drop for your evening tonight. Uh, 64 degrees is it forecasted for your evening tonight. Cooler, um, but not as many showers. We're going to be having like on and off showers, um, but not as much rain as we saw earlier today, earlier this morning. So showers still humid and more cooler. You won't be really needing the AC that much. You can give the AC a break. You open your window just for a little while. So in case, this way, not too much humidity comes into your, to your house. Um, but you won't be needing the AC as much because we're going to be sitting in the lower to mid 60s. Showers still going to be pretty damp um, and, you know, I'm still humid rather, uh, but more cool and showery. Uh, more showers for your evening tonight, a low tonight of 64 degrees. Tomorrow we're looking at uh, a high of 74 pretty damp but really not too much precipitation if at all for your forecast for tomorrow cloudy and damp a high tomorrow of 74 degrees so a little bit cooler for tomorrow's high on the day um, but still gonna be cloudy um, you could be you could you can get your errands done it's not gonna be a washout for sure not a washout for your day tomorrow cloudy and damp a high tomorrow of 74 degrees clouds will be sticking around because we have like this human air mass still in the area um, and once we get to Wednesday, we should be seeing some clearing. I'll get to more of that in your five-day forecast. But if, as far as your forecast, forecast for tomorrow is concerned, cloudy and damp, a high tomorrow of 74 degrees. Tomorrow night, a little bit warmer for your as uh, for tomorrow night compared to the forecast. We're forecasting a low tonight, uh, tomorrow night of 67 degrees. Still going to be pretty cool, but the clouds will still be sticking around. It's going to be pr rather overcast. I put this little moon here so you could just see... You know, it, that it's going to be nighttime, obviously. Um, but tomorrow night, cloudy and cool. Uh, still uh, in, in the upper 60s, actually. But it's still, for summer, upper 60s is kind of like a blessing and a gift. Because especially when we had that four-day heat wave, forget it. We didn't even drop. Uh, I, haven't, I, don't, I didn't include anything with the lows because it wasn't as important. Um, but the lows during the heat wave, we were still in the 80s. Uh, very upper 70s and 80s and still hot and humid and steamy more like between 80 and 85 for most nights during that heat wave so but look at a dramatic improvement uh for tomorrow night's forecast as well we're going to still be in the upper 60s cloudy and cool upper 60s 67 degrees for tomorrow night cloudy and cool uh low tomorrow night of 67 degrees and the long awaited five wave forecast is here so again today, scattered showers, humid conditions will still be persisting throughout the day, uh, a high of 76 and a low of 64. Tuesday, cloudy, still clouds will be sticking around, um, but it'll still be a little bit humid, uh, not as humid as today, tomorrow. Tuesday will not be as humid as today. Uh, cloudy, a high of 74, a little bit cooler and a, and a, low, a little warmer tomorrow night, 67. Wednesday seems like the best day of the week. We aren't seeing, foreseeing any precipitation for your day on Wednesday which is really great news so if you have any outdoor plans on Wednesday high of 81 really the best day of the week low of 69 clearing and partly cloudy you really can do have a nice day of any outdoor activities a little bit of sunshine not too hot not and really the humidity will really start to dissipate as well so Wednesday looks like the best day of the week clearing and partly cloudy on Wednesday high 81 low 69 now Thursday is when we start to see a little bit more humidity starting to creep up into the tri-state area we have drizzling conditions still uh, forecasted for uh, drizzling conditions expected for your forecast for Thursday. Scattered showers. We have a 25% chance of rain actually on Thursday. So Thursday will not be a wash. You still can get your errands and do your things tomorrow on Thursday. A high on 80, 82 and a low of 70. Now Friday uh, looks like the best chance of rain after today. will be the, So Friday will be the best chance of rain um, for this week uh, as, uh, besides Monday. So we have this rain to still deal with on Monday from this morning and lingering showers on Monday. The best chance of rain after today will be on Friday. Friday will have an 85% chance of rain with light rain and more showers. Uh, a little bit cooler than Thursday, a high of 77 and a low of 69. 
Thursday, 25% chance of rain, not a washout, just drizzling, a little bit humid. Uh, the humidity starts to creep up back into Thursday. High of 82, low 70, scattered showers and drizzling on Thursday. Friday, 85% most best chance of rain on Friday. But it says light rain, but it will be more consistent showers compared to Thursday. It will be intermittent, really, like, not too many showers. Friday, we're going to be seeing a lot more sh rain showers, not drenching rain. Uh, that's why I have light rain here, because we have more of a chance of rain on Friday. Uh, more showers. So we're going to be seeing these more constant showers on Friday with a high of 77 and a low of 69. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this has been an exclusive Rizzo TV weather episode of hashtag Rizzo TV HG News regular format to be resuming shortly within the next few days to about a couple of weeks or so. I'm trying, I want to try to do it this week if I can. Um, I will because I know you guys really like the traditional format. Um, but thank you guys again uh, for watching this exclusive weather episode of Rizzo TV for Monday, July 24, 2017. I am John Rizzo. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day and evening. Thank you.